Yours. This is a follow-up video to my last one. Uh, since then, I've taken this thing out on the water, and uh, I'll be honest with you, I absolutely loved it. There was uh, really nothing wrong with it at all. Maybe just one thing, and since then, I went ahead and took care of those things that what worked for me out there and what didn't. First off, I went ahead and this thing is hard to maneuver around with this trolling motor in a way. So what I did. So I took Mike C's advice. I built this right here. Let me take it off. Remove that. You can take the entire assembly off. It makes it easy to, easier to transport. So that took care of that. Much easier. Props to Mike C. He's the one that I got the idea from. Really easy. You don't have to leave the motor on there, and it's not as hard to get it through the water. Boom, you're in there. Um, rod holders I had in there I took those off because eh, let's just be simple quite honest they they were in the way I couldn't do any fishing with them so they were right here right in this area took those out of there um, had a viewer ask me what uh, what si what did I do with my fish mounder fish finder mount all that is is a one inch black poly pipe and I cut it split it down the middle and kind of rounded off the edges that way when you go up here you don't have to sit in there or struggle with it just put it at an angle slides right in it stays in place thing worked awesome um, oh one big modification that I had to do on this thing that single wheel sucked man I tell you it's like hauling a wheelbarrow full of you know oversized stuff in it so I went to Home Depot and I got a 5 8 inch rod and went to Harbor Freight and got two matching wheels this is 23 inches apart and it has made the maneuvering this thing a hell of a lot easier so if y'all have trouble with that single wheel this helped big time uh, I think that's about it everything I've done to it and other than that this thing worked like a charm I had uh, one viewer ask me how I managed to turn this stationary seat to a swivel seat because the Colorado XTS when you get this thing, it comes with some long bolts that, that go all the way through the frame. Well, you can actually screw those deeper into the seat to give you some room. And yes, this is this does swivel all the way. There you go. Oh, and another thing about that seat, it actually wasn't too bad. I was I spent 12 hours out on the water in this thing, and really wasn't that uncomfortable until the very last so you can either either um, upgrade to a bigger better seat more cushion or just simply put a little seat cushion in there. i think that would get the job done but i'll make sure next time i'll uh, i'll take a seat with this but other than that i'm very happy with this thing and uh that trolling motor it got me across uh, it got me across the water like nothing man this thing just glides through the water easy um uh, I think the fastest I got this thing, I got it all the way up to five to see how fast it would go, but at three, man, it gets you up and down the water with no problems. Um, let's see what else. I think that's it, guys. If you have any questions, um, you know, feel free to do, drop the comments below, and uh, I'll respond as soon as I can. Uh, but other than that, man, this thing was great. I loved it. Now I know why it, why it had such good reviews, because it's an awesome little, little boat. All right, take care.